You won't think that I'm prying into your personal lives, but it has been called to my attention that there is an increasing domestic unrest in this country. Now, by domestic unrest, I mean that husbands and wives seem to be getting on each other's nerves. Nothing personal, of course. <laughs> now, here in the laboratory, we have been working on this problem, and today we want to take up what we call the woman's angle in this war of nerves and show a few of the small things which husbands do which can irritate wives to the point of whatever that point is just before a woman kills a man. Now here is an example of a very common trick among husbands which is known as the delayed ablutions trick in which the husband waits until dinner is ready before getting ready for dinner. Are you ready for dinner? Ready and waiting, honey. What's cooking? You see, it's a surprise. This man has just come home from work. He's a good man and means well. And during this half hour before dinner, tries to keep his wife informed on world affairs. <laughs> uh, listen to this. <laughs> it's from Carl Plex of Idaho. Returning from church yesterday morning, Jasper off of 97-year-old Carl Plex at Farmer, saw something gleaming at the side of the road. Stooping to pick it up, off of broke three ribs, but recovered a silver spoon lost by him as a child nearly a century ago. What do you think of that? <laughs> Soup's on. Come and get it. Oh, right there. We need hardly say that this action is ill-advised at this time. Among the 35,000 wives questioned in our survey, 84% agreed that the husband's waiting to clean up until dinner is on the table is one of the greatest causes of domestic unrest. Dinner's ready, Joe. What are you doing? I'll be right down. We found in our survey that at this point, a great many women are tempted to put poison into the next plate of soup, which may account for the prevalence of indigestion among married men. Ah, here we are. Oh, clam chowder. <laughs> Cold, though. What have I done? Now, here's a case of a domestic economy which is neither domestic nor economical. And we find it cropping up usually around about supper time on Sunday nights. We just need a half a pound of butter, that's all. The delicatessen will have it. Well, you see, here it is Sunday night, and we have to buy at the delicatessen, where it costs just twice as much as at the grocery store. You ought to have a businessman run your household for you. There'll be no more of this last-minute Sunday night delicatessen buying. Mm. Pound of butter, is that right? Half a pound of butter. Half a pound. Thank you. Oh, good evening, sir. What can I do for you? Well, I just want half a pound. Well, something very special. Almost impossible to get these days. Half sour pickle. Half sour pickle. Mm. How do you sell all that? Uh, Sixty cents a dozen. Give me a dozen. Yes, sir. Anything else, sir? Don't tell me. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know they made them anymore. Oh, sure. Yeah, I have many of those since I was a kid. Give me some of those, yes, boy. Yes, sir. Mm. Yes, sir. Can I put in three or four of those pig's feet? I can eat three myself. <laughs> What's this? Some sort of new way of doing up bacon? What do you know about that? Put one of those in. <laughs> Don't say anything, doesn't it? Uh, plenty of onion in that potato salad. Give me a, you know, just a portion of it. Okay. Oh, right. You might put in some of that pickle. Yes, sir. Just anything a... else, sir? Lobster? Is that real fresh lobster? Absolutely. 
Perfectly safe? Absolutely. Yeah, that looks good. I'll well, have some of that, I guess. Thank you very much. Well, and do come back again. I certainly will, sir. This is it all for just this one family? Sure. What's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Now that we're running on a business basis, now that we buy in the delicatessen, where they charge twice as much as they do in the grocery store, no, nothing's wrong. Except that you've forgotten the half a pound of butter. Butter? Is it there? No. Oh, I'll go right here. No, you don't. You stay right here. Never mind. We'll do without butter. You're not going back. Now, here's a case which we have found in 64% of the homes investigated. It is known as the mechanical husband or the handyman about the house. Where do you keep the screwdriver around here? Right over in the drawer where it always is. What do you want with the screwdriver? I can put up that shelf for you. Well, do you have to do it right this minute? <laughs> All I hear for the past two weeks is, when are you going to put up the shelf in the kitchen? Now I'm ready and you don't want me to do it. Well, I do want you to do it. I'll be out here in a minute. Where is it? It's a pretty funny looking screwdriver. No? You've had it for eight years and you bought it. And it's all good. What do you want to put? Right up there. Just want to put the clock on it. Okie doke. Okie doke. Okie doke. Okie doke. Where are the screws? Up on the top shelf in the closet. Right up there. Up here? These the ones? You ought to know. You're the one who's putting up the shelf. Or are you? Why don't we get some of those new ones? You know, the ones you just push into the wall and vacuum or something holds it in. You know what I mean? Those are the only screws we've got. What on earth are you putting those on for? Just a little precaution. It'll be safe than sorry, you know. And now. You hit the button. What is it now? Just the brackets. Oh, I brought them home last night. What are you going to do? Build an extension on the kitchen? When I do a job, I do it right. Don't you bother your pretty head. You got my pretty head to aching already. I don't think I can watch it if you don't mind. It's better that you don't. This is going to be no place for a woman. up. What have you done to your arm? Oh, just a little cut. Well, how in the world did you cut yourself way up there? Those darn old-fashioned screws. I told you they were no good. I'll get some bandage. No, no, I'll take care of myself. Come out and see if it's the way you want it. Do you want to put anything on it but the clock? I think it looks kind of cute as it is. Well, I think most of the wives in the audience have recognized these little items which we've enumerated. Hello? Hello, dear. Yes, I'm almost through. Yeah, I'll be home in about half an hour. Oh, sure, I'll be home for dinner. Yeah, uh, uh, just a minute, will you hold the line, hold the line just a minute, will you, please? Uh, well, I think we've covered pretty well the woman's angle with these little domestic scenes. Probably could go on like this all night. 
I'm sure most of the ladies in the audience could furnish me with hundreds of other cases. And remember, men, next week we take up the men's angle, and I expect a full attendance. And it wouldn't hurt some of you ladies to drop in, maybe, and see <laughs> one or two of the little things you do that irritate us.